quick one here because this person was, you know, here's a person, first of all, who shows up late to every event I have, never sees me perform, and now is getting upset that I won't let him roast me. But I'm such a kind-hearted Republican, I just had to let him do it. So uh, give it up for my buddy Chad Keynes. And this is seriously two minutes. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I asked John if I could just say a few kind words uh, today because it is his birthday and he said, well, in two minutes, and I thought to myself, that's way too much time. <laughs> um, so I got an email, and the email said, John DeCoven, you know, is an e-bite, and then I got Talk another one that said, Johnny D. Talk on the mic. Johnny D. Jo Johnny D. Where's the, where's the Johnny D come from? Is that like your new hip-hop career or something? <laughs> you know? So anyway, um, I did want to say happy birthday to you. You're one of my, oh, shit. You're one of my good, you're one of my good friends. And, uh, I don't like that little wave that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I was I was asking for a drink. Oh okay. I was asking for a drink. That's uh, is that what? Is that? Who is that? It is, buddy. It's me. Jim Carrey. Is that Jim Carrey? That's what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Carrey. Give him a hand. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. And lovely Pleasanton. Anyway, I want somebody to pick any random Jim Carrey movie in the house for John's birthday. Liar, liar. The part where you're speeding. Here it goes. <laughs> you know why I pulled you over? Depends how long you were following, gentlemen. I want to put the uh, fire on the cake tonight and uh, do a little bit of Fire Marshal Bill in living color. <laughs> I'm Fire Marshal Bill Burchill. And nobody likes a Twitter. Let me show you something. Let's just say. You're digging in your fucking there, trying to find that chestnut, but you accidentally just pull out a life hand grenade. Run for the hills, Saddam Hussein. <laughs> all right, all right, Thank you. You've been a lovely audience. We'll be here all week. All right, you guys. We got one last uh, comedian, a good friend of mine, and I saved the best <laughs> comment for last because if hilarity were a lottery ticket, I'd rub him vigorously and hope for a big payoff. <laughs> Give it up for Larry Bowles Brown. I'm gonna go to the doctor. He said, I need a list of all the women you've had sex with. I think, oh, do I have a disease? He goes, no, but if you get him into bed, imagine what I can do. Cloning <laughs> <laughs> human beings. Isn't that like counterfeiting pennies? <laughs> oh, yeah, make some more people. I want to pay $5 million for a house in Hayward. <laughs> such a cruel joke. I used to think I was a good lover, then I found out my girlfriend was an epileptic. <laughs> We're making love. She's kicking and moaning and thrash, and I thought, damn, I'm hitting it. Fine line between an orgasm and a seizure. <laughs> John and I go way back. We used to do community work with children. Uh, <laughs> It was John's job to lure them into the van. So, yeah, you, you guys have been great. Thanks for coming out. Happy birthday. Here's the deal. This is bad form for comedy because when the headliners sign, the show should be over. But it's my birthday, and I'm going to tell one joke that I never really do here because it's way too heavy for the Pleasanton Hotel. Yes, it's the Panda Bear. <laughs> And, uh, but you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna do it, and if you guys don't like it, what can I say? Okay, here's the deal. There's these panda bears in Thailand, okay? And I don't know if you guys know, but panda bears have a hard time having sex. They really don't know how to do it. That's why when they have cubs, it's a big deal, right? So these guys at the Thailand Zoo, what they did, pretty ingenious of them, they started playing, they put TVs in their cages and started playing porno movies to the panda bears to kind of get them in the mood and learn what to do and all that. Which kind of sounds weird, but it actually worked. 
Uh, it actually worked too good. It backfired on him because now all the male panda bear wants to do is pull out and come all over her face. <laughs> Thank you.